Today we talk about what I've seen people doing wrong with collections in .NET. I know this because I'm guilty myself. I have done it multiple times because I wasn't aware of the mistake. Nobody told me that using I enumerable as a property type doesn't make a list read-only. Let's look at this common mistake and what to do instead. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of experience with the .NET platform. On this channel, you'll learn all about .NET development. Now let's take a closer look at the code in this solution. There is a person class that contains a list of children using the I enumerable type and the name property of the string type. We also have a print children method to print all the person's children. We want to execute code whenever a child is added to the person object. In this example, we want to print a message to the console. However, this could be triggering a notification service or some other background process in a real application. We want to restrict the usage of the class to only be able to add children to the collection by calling the addChild method and therefore defining the children property to be of type i enumerable. Let's see this in action. In the program.cs file, we create two person objects and call the addChild method on the first person and provide the second person object as an argument. We also call the printChildren method on the first object. Let's run the program. We can see the congratulations in the console as well as the print the children list. So you might think that because the children property on the person type is of type i enumerable, that we cannot change the content of the list from outside the person class. What if I told you that's wrong? Let me insert the following code snippet. First, we access the children property and cast it into the generic i list of person type. Next, we check that the value isn't null and call the add method to add a new person object as another child to the collection. Lastly, we print the children. Let's run the program again. As you can see, we now have two children in the collection, but we only see the congratulation message once. We didn't use the addChild method on the person object to add the second child. Instead, we used the children property of type i enumerable and casted it into an i list of person and directly added an item to the collection. In doing so, we broke the intention of the person class implementation. Now that we know what's wrong, let's hear a quick word from today's sponsor before we learn what causes the problem and how to solve the issue by actually making the collection read-only. Visual Assist is a Visual Studio extension filling gaps for C-Sharp and C and C++ developers. Visual Assist adds additional code navigation options to make your life easier. Code inspection and advanced refactoring tools help you improve your source code's readability and overall quality. Code correction corrects mistakes as you type. For example, you can type in lowercase and Visual Assist automatically fixes your code. Visual Assist adds additional code assistance features including intelligent suggestions while typing and it offers unique features for Unreal Engine development. Visual Assist boosts your developer productivity. Check out Visual Assist using the link in the video description and download your free 30-day trial today. We think that by using I enumerable as the type for a collection property, we remove the ability for the caller to add items to the collection. However, let's think about what really happens here. We create an object of type list in the person class. When we access the children property from outside the person class, we receive an address of the children's collection in memory. We cannot call the add method on the children collection because the I enumerable type doesn't provide an add method. However, when we cast the object back into its original list type, we get access to the same methods and properties that the object actually provides. Now that we know that using I enumerable doesn't make a collection read only, let's talk about how to fix this issue. In the person class, we change the type of the children property from I enumerable to I read only collection. Next, we do not return the reference to the internal children list, but create a read-only copy of it 
using the as read only method. Now let's start the program again. This time we get a not supported exception with a message of collection is read only when we try to call the add method. This change makes sure we can't directly add objects to the children collection and forces us to use the add child method on the person class to add children. Keep in mind that making a copy of the collection can be expensive, depending on the number of items in the collection. In some cases, it might be best to not access the internal list at all and provide methods to access its data instead. I did it wrong so many times and I hope that if you make the same mistake, this solution will help you improve your code in the future. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future.net videos. And watch this video next.